Hey everybody, Rahog here. Thanks for stopping by the channel. We got a Browning A-Bolt 1988 Hunter model. So a guy had one of this, handed it to us, didn't know anything about it, and I said, well, I'll try my best to try to figure it out. Did a little research uh, on it. We'll show you how to date these. Uh, it's pretty simple. Usually start with something subtle, you know, uh, test the waters with like, hey, do you come here often? Then usually follow it up with, give me a car, you know, something like that. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist, I couldn't resist. But seriously, we'll show you how to date these. Pretty simple, you go on Browning's website uh, and they have a thing to date your firearm and you check out your serial number, which your serial number is located right here in front. Forgive me if I repeat myself on some of these, but it's probably gonna happen. Um, so anyways, it's pretty, pretty neat how you do that. Um, you know, and, and Browning will send you a letter. Uh, you contact them and they'll give you a historical letter, um, you know, because these are discontinued. Uh, these are 1988. They came out with 1985. I think they started making the A-Bolt. Uh, then they, uh, in 1994, I believe, they came with A-Bolt 2 in the Boss system. Uh, and they've discontinued uh, some of these things. I think they're onto the X-Bolt now, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So, anyways, I don't know if I said it. This is a 270. We were shooting 270. You did see that. I will see that in some of the shooting if we add a little more. Um, you know, hindsight is 20, is 20, 20, but I probably should have taken, before shooting the tank, probably should have took this down. So, again, a 270 is going to rise with a lot of ammo that I've seen at 100 yards. You're looking at an inch and a half, two inches high. Um, you know, and we were shooting here and it was going up. So, that's what we like to go into these things blind, not having a clue where they're hitting, um, you know, or where they've been sighted in at. So, so I mean, it's just, it, we like it raw or nothing at all, I'll tell you right now. So, but started to figure it out a little bit and working it in. Now, so a little bit of practice and sighting in your own scope, you might appear to know what you're doing. Um, all of this was pretty accurate, uh, you know, 100 yards, hitting steel at, you know, 170, 169, I think it was. So, anyways, we'll bring you in, let you see some of the features, uh, you know, check it out, uh, and, you know, go over that, show you how to date your firearm no matter what you have. Um, I believe these are four plus one too, and that depending on the caliber that you have, I think that's four plus one. Three plus one, of course, or, you know, four in the mag. So, um, pretty neat stuff. We'll come in close, check it out, show you how to date it, and uh, take a look at some of this uh, history. All right, so we have some federal uh, 130 grains, you know, hunting right, hunting rounds, soft, uh, soft point. Let's see what we can do here. All right, so I shot that. I went and checked that. Didn't see a mark. It hit high. Um, so these are saying, you know, it rises an inch and a half. Uh, that was way high though. <laughs> so, anyways, but we're gonna we're gonna try to lower it a little bit because I'm not sure where this is sided in at. So. <clears throat> That time. You know what? Let's take a shot at that steel down there. It's about 170 yards. I mean, the way that thing is, maybe it'll level back out. Let's see here. Did I say 179? I meant 1,079. Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. That worked. Let's see. <laughs> Holy hell. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to go check and see where that's hitting at. Okay, so this is where um where I'm shooting. Wasn't planning on shooting the steel just yet, but we'll pan out here. Don't mind all the, the props, but that's where it is. That's about 100 to that, and it's about 169 to the steel. So it is rising. Um, pretty good little chunk there. So we'll uh, try to do a little more investigating here. I would say the number one thing and most important would probably be don't forget to subscribe. I mean, it's not going to hurt. It's free. Go there and hit that subscribe notifications bell because, you, sorry. All right. So anyways, look at this butte. Just shot Walnut stock. 
Very, very gorgeous firearm. And take a look at the ammo prices we got there. <laughs> Walmart back in the day, I think they've even marked it up a little bit. 843. Crazy. 130 grain. It's the PowerPoint. So we were using Federal. Federal 130, the uh, the saw point. So there those are. Get a good look at that. And we'll, we'll you know, hopefully... I've seen 270 before. Uh, I don't know if I said that. This one is chambered in 270. Uh, the A bolt, which is, of course, right here. Uh, serial numbers here. That's how you look up your, and we'll, we'll show you how to date that. But uh, just going to check it. Everything's clear. Of course, it's already been clear. Uh, magazine drop. It's four plus one. Um, so that's that's nice. You can open that up for cleaning and, um, you know, or, or even, um, you know, emptying out your mag and things like that. So a bolt is pretty smooth after all these years. It's a 60 degree throw. So that's what helps, uh, you know, avoid, con you know, a lot of people may put a bigger scope or something on it like that um, for, for quick action. It doesn't interfere with the scope. Uh, so that's pretty neat. It has your caulking indicator here. So I'll pull the trigger, see if you can see it go back in. Uh, but when you caulk it, it comes out so you know you're caulked and ready to go. You have your thumb safety here right there and you're good to go so uh barrels free float of course uh for accuracy and all those things let's see what else are we missing that's about it got it on safety here Boop. so that's it you have a push button on the other side uh you have a push button over here you know that's how you remove your bolt you just push that in uh, and it comes right out. We'll try to demonstrate that. I wish we had somebody else here to help film and make this a lot easier, but let's pull it right out. Comes out and there's your, your A bolt. And then to put it back in, and just go right in just like butter. So, like I said, we will do, we'll do a test here. Uh, try to do my best here, clear it. So it's already been cocked. So we're good to go. We are clear. I'm gonna clear that and let's see what we get here. And nothing, that's good. Oh, I hit clear, so ready. sorry, it's my first time. <laughs> All right, here we go. Two thirty. Let's try that again. Well, that was pretty light. They say they come from the factory, uh, I think around four pounds is what I thought they said. So, wow. I don't know if this one's been adjusted or what. That's uh, a lot lower than that, of course. So we'll do one more to get a get an average here. A little bit more. You know, let's go ahead and hit another one. Since we're here, might as well get as accurate as possible. Man, that's pretty crazy. So getting those, we're getting two. Let's do the average on those, you know, under three pounds. So there it is on that. So pretty decent trigger out, out of the box. I don't think anything's been done to it. Not that he knows, because we wouldn't have any way of knowing that. So um, without getting in there, but uh, supposedly it came with a four pound trigger out of the box, uh, right around that, and it can be adjusted. Uh, is what they said. Uh, you can look up old, old commercials on these. Like I said, this is a 1988 model. So uh, there you have that. I'll take it. Let's see, we'll get you a close look here. I mean, it is still, it's well taken care of, you know, for the most part. The camera to change. It ain't having it, it doesn't look like. I'll tell you, that's good. All right, let's try to pick it up. There, it finally changed. Old apples, man, glad we pay expensive stuff. 270. So. It's a little awkward. Trying to get you all the views we can here by myself. There's the push button to let out the bolt. So there you have that. Um, as you can get a closer look here, there's the caulking indicator 
here is, you know, it's, it's cocked, so it's ready to thumb safety. Obviously, that's how that works. Um, I mean, you know how that works. I'm just letting you see what it looks like as best I can. Um, so there you have it. Um, that's it. Well, let's, let's bring it into a little homework here and see if we can't figure out how to date this bad boy. Okay. Now, so uh, you know, this is going to be a little boring. I realize that. But you just go to their website. Browning has a thing that says date your firearm. Um, and how you do that is, you know, you find your serial number like I showed you. It's right in front of the bolt handle. Um, and you look at it. And here's an example here. But a little bit of reference that says, you know, at the top there. It says this production became in, uh, began in 1985 for the A-Bolt. 1994, uh, they came out with their BOSS, which is Ballistic Optimizing Shooting System. And then the A-Bolt too. So... Uh, and not, in 1976, as you can see here, they, they, they re-standardized their serial number and how they identify their guns. So, but here it is. So it starts there. Um, oh, like I said, 1994, you know, they started, they introduced the boss system. So um, if you know ballpark, you can go. But here's an example they give you. Have your number. Like I said, this is in front of your bolt handle. They give you this number. That's your number. And then the letters are the year. So here is PV. So P8. V is five, so 1985, and there's your serial number. Well, you look at the last the last three digits, and you match that up down here. So their example is 217, uh, which is a medallion. So I wrote this one down, didn't leave the beginning serial number, but it's PP. I don't know why you just wouldn't put the the letters of the day instead of the or you know the numbers. But anyways, PP. So it's 88, 717 is the back part of our serial number. And come down here, 717, it's the 1988 Browning A-Bolt Hunter model. So it's pretty simple, uh, and, it's, and it's, you know, it's a pretty neat little thing there. Um, so and it has that for all the Brownings to current time. So pretty neat stuff. And like I was saying, you can contact Browning to get historical letters. Uh, you know, if you got a discontinued or an older Browning, you can get, you, t you contact them, give them your <laughs> serial number, and they'll send you a letter, uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, to put in the safe or, you know, to pass down and generation to generation, like, just just pretty cool. So, anyways, there you have it. Back to school. There it is, folks. I we hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, we got a chance to get our hands on this firearm. A little piece of history, pretty neat. Um, so, hopefully, maybe you learned something how to date your firearm. I mean, it's not too difficult, but, uh, you know, it's something. I um, don't know if I said it. Uh, four plus one in the magazine. Uh and the internal mag and what else the price on these the msrp was like 750 now they're 850 to a thousand you know the market and probably the sky's the limit for a collector so anyways like i said hope you enjoyed it uh hope to see you down the road uh until next time you know go down hit that subscribe button hit that notifications bell because you know what you like you like it raw